Christy here. I'm back with another Plan With Me video and this week I'm going to be planning for the week of Christmas. So December 21st through the 27th. I am very excited about this spread. This is going to be a very classic Christmas spread. Green and red. Just very classic. I'm very excited about it. Hard to believe that we are almost to January. I actually have already filmed my January monthly planning session, so if you're interested in seeing this, I will link it somewhere on the screen as well as down below. But I am going to be doing uh, this sped up with a voiceover, but I just wanted to pop on here beforehand and just tell you guys that I hope that you have a very wonderful um, week. Very Merry Christmas. I'm so excited about Christmas. I cannot believe it's here already, um, but I just hope that you have a really wonderful Christmas and um, a Happy New Year. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out everything that I need really quickly. I grabbed a whole bunch of washi tape. I'm not sure which ones I'm going to be using, but you can see classic Christmas spread here. This one came from Dollar General. This is a Dollar Tree. This is also a Dollar Tree, and these two came from Walmart. So very, very excited to use all of these. So the kit I'm going to be using is this cute little gingerbread kit from Lisa Lorraine Plans. I'm very excited about this. But I didn't realize that it didn't come with any headers. So I pulled some headers out that are red that don't match exactly, but I, that I think will work, have to work. I just didn't realize I didn't have headers for this set. Um, um, so these are just red to-do headers, and these are also from Lisa Lorraine Plans. I've got a whole mess of sticker books to use, so I'm just going to go all out. I'll talk you guys through it in the voiceover, so let's just go ahead and pull these pages and get started. Okay guys, so I am starting out by just lining up this green and red striped washi tape along the bottom. Add some decorative touches. I love using washi tape for this. It just brightens up the whole spread. You can really decorate to your heart's content and be really creative with washi tape, I think. So I just laid down that one and now on top of that I'm layering this one from the Dollar Tree. I really like mixing and matching patterns. I think that it's a lot of fun and again just adds some nice visual touches. Now I'm getting to work adding in my headers. I'm putting the to-do headers along the top this week rather than the bottom just for something a little different. You know, I like to mix things up. So to-do headers all across the top. And adding in the checklists that go with that. You can see these reds don't match exactly, but I think it looks alright in the end. And not everything has to be so matchy-matchy, right? And now, since I don't have any specific headers that I want to use to mark my Today section, I just decided to pull in this really pretty green kind of glitter tape. This tape is really nice, it's from Walmart, and it's great because it's got that glittery look without spewing glitter everywhere, so it's not getting all over the place, which is nice. And now I'm just adding in the full boxes that come in the kit. Uh, again, I really just love adding full boxes just to add color and fun. I've gotten more and more into these sort of no white space spreads where I I don't do no white space, but I do kind of minimal white space, and it's just because it's so much fun to add patterns and color. It really just makes my planner uh, visually pleasing to me, so I just really enjoy doing that. And I'm adding that eighth decorative box to the top, but first I decide to lay down some washi tape just so that none of these numbers uh, from this calendar peek through. In the end, it turned out that I didn't really need to do this step, but eh, it only took a second, so that's all right. You'll see this full box actually covers up everything that I just put down there. With the exception of that little strip of washi tape from the Dollar Tree, that tree one.
Now I'm just working on my sidebar, adding some of these other full boxes that came in the kit. I line these up all sorts of crooked and don't actually realize it and fix it until nearly the end of the video. So if you're like one of these OCD people where it's really going to bother you that this box, these boxes are crooked, I apologize. I do fix it in the end, I swear. And just adding this really pretty glittery washi tape that I got from Dollar General. This, on the other hand, does spew glitter everywhere, but it's really, really pretty. Now I'm just covering up the dates on the top with just some plain old blank sticker paper. I like to do this so that when I put these date covers down that I got from a Facebook group, um, you can't see the numbers through them. Just makes for a nice clean area to put down my stickers. And these printables I think are so pretty. This whole set of printables was found on, I think it's the um, Happy Planner Addicts group. I'll link it down below, I remember. Um, it's a whole file section with all kinds of great uh, printable stickers that you can make use of. And these date covers are probably my favorite. Now I am just adding in my Christmas countdown that also came from that same Facebook group. Um, I love these. I'm so sad that we have now reached the end of the countdown and Christmas is here. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm excited about Christmas, but sad that I no longer have something um, to use super cute countdown stickers for. Maybe I'll start a countdown to Valentine's Day or something just so that I can use super cute stickers. That little Merry Christmas sticker came from one of those sticker books. Uh, and I just really liked the way that that looked. I realized at this point that I did not have a weekend banner and I really wanted to use one. So I decided to use all these little teardrop stickers and kind of make my own. There are some weeks when I really don't feel like adding a weekend banner. Um, but this week I just really wanted one. So I kind of made do with what I had and made my own and I think it kind of turned out kind of cute. just decorating the day of Christmas a little bit more because, you know, that's what we've been counting down to all this time. Plus, I want to get rid of some of that white space. And now I'm starting to fill in my different appointments and things. I'm adding in my payday. Um, that little payday flag is from Mama Needs Chocolate, whose shop is unfortunately closed right now, and I don't know when she will be reopening. So... Fortunately, you can't get your hands on those at the moment, but if and when she reopens, I will definitely let you guys know. Now I am using these removable Erin Condren labels just so that I have a place to indicate my meal planning for the day. Uh, these worked out really well for me. I really, really like the Erin Condren uh, stickers. Now I am taking some icon stickers that I made for myself with my Silhouette machine. These are just little fork and knife icons so that I can, again, indicate my meal planning. They're not the greatest stickers ever, but I'm just learning how to use my silhouette, and I'm pretty happy with them. You are taking a look at me going through my latest um, sticker organization, which is this really pretty binder. And I actually do a whole... Um, I just recently filmed a whole uh, planner collect sticker planner sticker collection. Let's spit it out, Jesse. Um, and that'll be going up on my channel later on this week, so be on the lookout for that. I'm just adding in some more stickers from Lisa Lorene Plans just to fill in some of that white space and give me some areas to write down different appointments and things. Adding in another little movie marquee that is also from Lisa Lorene Plans. And those Christmas bucket list stickers are from Lisa Lorene Plans as well. 
My trash can stickers, as always, are from Cheeky Paper Creations, and unfortunately it looks like her shop has closed down too, so it seems like all my favorite sticker shops are closing, so I need to find some more, so if you guys have any suggestions, leave them for me down below. That coffee mug sticker is from, I believe, the Sassy Planner, and that bathtub sticker is from Lisa Living Plants as well. Hey look, I finally realized how crooked those stickers are and make an attempt to fix them. They look a little bit better, still not perfect, but better now that I have fixed them. And now I'm filling everything in with my black paper made flare. Still my favorite pen. Working on filling in a few of my to-do list items. That to-do list, of course, will get filled in more on the actual day, but I just like to start it out with a few um, things that I kind of to do every week. Working on my sidebar now, making a list for things to buy, to clean, and to do. Always nice to have a little master list on the sidebar. That's how I enjoy using my sidebar. And now I'm just adding a few decorative stickers from the various sticker books. That is the Santa's Toy Shop book there. Um, I got that at Michael's. And uh, I just think that these stickers all look super, super cute. So that's it guys, that is my plan with me video for the week. I think it turned out super cute, I'm so excited. I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy Holiday and I will see you guys next week. Bye everyone.